Hey everybody, so you're in the woods <clears throat> with me because that's where we live and you know every day I try to find something new um, to record. It's not very easy, it's not very easy to find something every day. But I try, I wander around the yard. Here I can show you we have some grapes. Finally starting to come in. Those are um, not seedless. They're Concord grapes. Great for wine, but we don't make wine yet. At least we haven't. Um, but today I just wanted to check this milkweed. Caterpillars. I don't see anything. I'll show you a picture of uh, the caterpillars that love these milkweeds. And part of the reason why I didn't mow these down, even though they're in my raspberry, is because I wanted to see those caterpillars this year so we'll just uh, keep checking every day eventually we'll find one and we got this little guy plenty of daddy long legs around here daddy long legs and small toads um, there are a few other Places I can look. Two robins chasing after each other, but as you can see here, even though I trimmed my pear tree, we are getting pears, so that's cool. We do eat those quite a bit, uh, so that's nice. This here looks like a random rose bush out of nowhere, but I did want to check. Oh, we do have some. Some very neat uh, flowers. I didn't think bloom this year, so that's cool. Um, well, <clears throat> we didn't have any luck checking my normal spots for the caterpillar, um, but like I said, we're gonna check back every day. see what kind of uh, critters we can find so in the meantime we'll just take a little walk in the woods and uh, see if we find anything interesting here's my my attempt at a meadow so as you can see it's starting to grow we got some flowers in there which is really cool and uh, I'm really hoping like over year over year it really starts to take off. Uh, this is a rose bush that we planted. We actually transplanted it from a, um, a friend of mine at work. We just dug it out of his yard because he was sick of dealing with it and I brought it here. And it's starting to have blossoms on it already so that's cool. We'll just take a little wander. Uh, I like coming out in the woods and I know if you've watched a few of these episodes before you heard me blab about just being out here and it's nice and quiet uh, it smells really fresh and good <clears throat> uh, we live in east central wisconsin so temperatures differences are so great uh, literally from day to day especially in the summer like today is not bad but there's no wind and the sun is shining already uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning or whatever 10 o'clock maybe and that just means it's gonna be a super hot day we'll get through it because we always do um, but it's just a typical uh, cool Wisconsin morning that's gonna turn into a super hot muggy day so uh, tomorrow I do have a couple of things I'd like to check out in here um, I don't know what they're called I'm gonna take a picture of them they look like some sort of berry. 
I'm sure it's not something that we can eat without getting diarrhea. But I would like to still, you know, learn a little bit about them and maybe tomorrow morning I'll feature those in the vlog. You can hear some things walking around over there. Uh, most likely just squirrels, but you never know. Yesterday we saw a deer flying, ripping through here after I kind of spooked him in the morning. Um, uh, yesterday I showed you the locations of my trail cams and I was going to put together a small montage of uh, that we got with our trail cams. I haven't yet, but I will be doing that and then uh, once my trail cams stop getting, you know, any kind of video, I'll just, I switch them up. And we have uh, not a lot of room here, but plenty. So we can really kind of set um, our trail cams up so that they can see different things. Like, you know, in different parts of our woods, we see deer only. Sometimes we only see raccoons and no deer. And, and of course, everywhere there's squirrels. Squirrels like to show off and uh, they will find your camera no matter what. So here I can hear something squealing. The fuck? Sounds like, at first I thought it was like a, some sort of owl, but I think it's just a bird that's or squirrel that feels threatened. Something's probably not where it's not uh, allowing it to do its thing. So that's another thing with the, the woods. You get some really crazy noises and stuff. So I like to just wander around slowly and just kind of take it all in. And I usually clean up the spider webs with my face every morning. So it gets kind of annoying. But um, just wanted to bring you along with in the woods. Hopefully it's something you're interested in. And you like to learn more about because we do have a lot of really neat things in here you know uh, just some weird fungus and bugs and things like that so uh, here we got a spider web Ooh, that's a neat looking spider what's this guy Yeah, he's a dandy, huh? Just uh, kind of bright green. I don't know if I've ever seen a spider like that. I'm gonna have to take a look online and see what that one is. Maybe I'll grab my other camera and try to get some more photos of them just for fun. Um. He's got quite a big, he's got a web that goes this whole specific spot here. And there's another one. Hey, Jesus. So there's another one right there. Uh, he just, he just flew off. As soon as I pointed the camera at him, he kind of took off towards my face. So maybe we'll check that one out. Um, check it out online and see what kind of spider it is and learn about it. It's probably poisonous and was gonna try to eat my face off, but you know, I got out of there. Cause when you're in the woods, you don't know what can hurt you out here. Usually, it's too late before you realize it and I've seen enough trauma. Okay, so as I was saying, there's some really messed up things in the woods that can really make your day a living hell. Spiders is one of them. Even if you're the type that isn't completely freaked out when you see a spider, you probably shouldn't go ahead and poke at it. Um, there's spiders out there, and some even in our area, that can drop you in a matter of minutes if you uh, get bit. So I'm just gonna kinda take it easy, but I wanna take a look at that spider and see if I can tell what it is. Now I just did a really quick search online and I can't figure it out because you type in green spider or yellow spider or Wisconsin spider and you get a million results so it's hard to kind of narrow down. So I figured I would just take a picture or five of it and then get online 
do a little bit more digging. I can put it in this video later. I don't have to have it in there right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I grab my grab my professional camera and I'm walking back over there now and I'm gonna grab a couple of photos of that spider. Um, if I can find it again. Oh yeah, there he is. So let's see what we get. All right, so I grabbed a, I grabbed a couple of uh, photos of the spider. Uh, as long as I could sit here without getting chewed up by the mosquitoes. So I'm going to go ahead and just look online. I'll post some of the pictures I got and uh, hopefully they turned out because I had to get really close in the specific location that I was, but I did catch the light on a couple of different on a couple of different photos, so maybe it actually they actually turned up. I'm gonna walk back to the house and I see this little guy. It's just like a little uh little inchworm or caterpillar, whatever the hell they are. He's uh getting around. The only way they know how the mosquitoes are getting really bad. I'll see if I can focus on them. There he is. Doing what he does best. So we're just gonna leave him be and I'm gonna keep going here. Um, now that I finally got something worth, um, now that I finally got something worth vlogging about, we'll just uh, end this one here. So if you enjoy in the woods, uh, please thumb up for the spiders, subscribe for the inchworm caterpillar dude, and maybe even leave a comment for my Concord grapes that are finally coming in. So I'm gonna keep checking the milkweed for the caterpillars and you just keep checking out my vlogs. See you later.